Audiobook Academy Biography Presents. Glenn Close. As the insane mistress in the 1987 film Fatal Attraction, actress Glenn Close is well known for her many Oscar-nominated performances. A lot of people don't know who Glenn Close is. Her first role was in a play, and she went on to win a Golden Globe for her portrayal in The World According to Garp, which earned her an Academy Award nomination. Acting roles in Fatal Attraction and Dangerous Liaisons, as well as three Tony Awards for her stage work, helped to solidify her as a leading lady. As a result of her work in the legal drama Damages, as well as her roles in Albert Nobbs and The Wife, Close was nominated for an Oscar. The Childhood Age From an upper-class family with a heritage in the northeastern U.S., Close was born in Greenwich on March 19, 1947. As well as Sandy, she had two older sisters, Jessie and Tina, whom she shared her childhood with. Despite the fact that her parents, Dr. William Close and Bettina Moore Close, were both born into wealthy families, they did not bring up Close and her siblings in such an environment. There were a few black lambs in Greenwich, Close famously remarked. My ancestors created Round Hill Country Club, which was a highly social and affluent environment. We, on the other hand, never had the opportunity to live that way. That's something about which I've always felt a sense of pride. In 1954, Close's parents became members of Moral Rearmament, MRA, a cult-like organization that sent its members out into the world to spread its brand of spirituality. For her part, Dr. Close ran a clinic in Belgium's Congo, where her family relocated when she was 13 to help spread the message. In those formative years, Glenn Close attended boarding schools in both Africa and Switzerland. Before joining the MRA-affiliated singing ensemble Up With People and going on four years on European and American tour, she attended Greenwich Prep School Rosemary Hall. In the age of 22, Close broke away from the group and enrolled at the College of William and Mary to pursue a dual degree in theater and anthropology. Success. Close moved to New York City after graduating from college. At the Phoenix Theater Company in Los Angeles, she teamed forces with her good friend Meryl Streep. Close's acting career took off quickly. She made her Broadway debut in Love for Love, which opened on Broadway in 1974. At first, she was so enamored with the stage that she didn't give film acting a second thought. It was the stage that drew her to acting in the first place, she admitted. When I was a kid, I didn't even think about movies when I was playing games. In 1984, she was nominated for a Tony Award for her performance as Annie in The Real Thing. Garp, Fatal Attraction, and Dangerous Liaisons all receive Oscar nominations. In the end, Close's abilities as an actor were well suited to the big screen. Director George Roy Hill cast Close as Jenny Fields, a feminist writer, in The World According to Garp in 1980 after watching her in a Tony nominated role in Barnum. In her first film role, she was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her performance, 1984. When she played Alex Forrester, a beguiling but psychotic stalker in Fatal Attraction, 1987, her reputation as a formidable Hollywood dynamo was solidified. In the midst of production, Close learned she was expecting her first child, a daughter named Annie Maud Stark, with husband John Stark. She started filming Dangerous Liaisons, 1988, just seven weeks after giving birth to Annie and garnered another Oscar nomination for the role. As a 40-year-old actress in the 1990s, Close had a difficult time getting work. It's common for actors to be cast as mothers, and Close was no exception. She consented to portray Gertrude to Mel Gibson's Hamlet in the 1990 film version despite being just eight years older than her on-screen son. A look back at Tony's comedic career. Close was making headlines at the moment once more for her unwavering devotion to her first love, theater. Close for her roles in Death and the Maiden, 1992, and Sunset Boulevard, 1995, she was awarded the Tony Award for Best Actress. Also in 1996, Close played Cruella de Vil in the live-action adaptation of 101 Dalmatians and First Lady Marcia Dale in the comedy Mars Attacks. The Simpsons also featured her as Mona Simpson, Homer's mother, in a regular voiceover role. The Shield and Damages are examples of my television work. Close's impressive television performances in the 2000s were noticed, starting with her addition to The Shield's fourth season. For her work as no-nonsense lawyer Patty Hughes in Damages, which she starred in beginning in 2007, she received a Golden Globe nomination as well as two Emmy Awards throughout the course of the series' five seasons. Mature women holding positions of genuine authority, calling the shots and mixing it up with the big males, are uncommon, according to Close. I am having a good time. In 2014, Close returned to Broadway in a revival of A Delicate Balance, written by Edward Albee, following the end of Damages. On her return to London's West End, 
she played Norma Desmond in Sunset Boulevard in 2016. Albert Knobs, the wife, and Hillbilly Elegy are getting more attention from the Oscars. In addition to her successful television and stage work, Close was able to land film roles that she was comfortable with. She was nominated for her role as a butler in Albert Knobs, 2011, which earned her the sixth Oscar nomination of her career. Close starred in the 2018 film The Wife as a little-known writer who watches her husband get credit for her work while dealing with an unfulfilling domestic life. Her performance earned her a Golden Globe, and she delivered an emotional acceptance speech that cemented her place as a front-runner for an Academy Award. Close was nominated for an Oscar for her performance in Hillbilly Elegy, which premieres in 2020. Close tied the knot with businessman David Shaw in February 2006, making him her third spouse. They filed for divorce in August of last year. Cabot Wade and James Marlis were her first and second husbands, respectively, from 1969 to 1971 and 1984 to 1987. Thank you for listening in Audiobook Academy. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button for more content like this. See you in next video.